Solving exponential equations is like bordering on like a hobby for me. I mean, okay, let's be honest. A lot of math is stressful. This is not. These are like kind of fun, like riddles, okay? So the way to solve an exponential equation is this. You might have something like 4 to the x equals 4 to the 3. Now the rule is, and this is totally a simple concept, if the bases match, right, if these bases match, then the exponents equal each other as well. You can basically dissolve this and say x is 3. That problem is done. x is 3. You know, obviously, math teachers enjoy making things more complicated, but again, if the bases match, the exponents equal each other. So here's a couple of examples. So let's say you had 4 to the 2x equals 4 to the 10. Do the bases match? Yes. So 2x equals 10 divided by 2 divided by 2, x equals 5, right? You see why this is like actually fun? All right. So that's cool. All right, let me bring you some, some curveballs, okay? What if I had 5 to the x equals 125? And now you're like, the fun has ended, right? The, the bases don't match, so I guess this is a different kind of problem. It's totally not, okay? You still, the goal is to have the bases match so you can have the exponents match or equal each other. You have to manipulate this now. So 5 to the x is fine. 125 is 5 to the something. And now you got to get all calculator-y or, you know, figure that out. You could kind of think in your head, 5 to the 1, no, 5 to the 2 is not 125. 5 to the 3, sure enough, is 125. 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125. So now the bases do match. I had to work with it. I had to manipulate it. But now the bases match. x equals 3. Done. OK? All right? Even that seems easy. Let me just... Let me just throw some curveballs at you, okay? So those are fun. This is less fun. How about this? 1 to the 4th to the x equals 16. Now you're like, all right, this is just messed up. What you should do here, these bases do not match at all, even close. I would make them both, right? 4 to the something equals 4 to the something, okay? The right side looks pretty easy. You're like, well, 16 is definitely 4 squared. So that one's kind of done. What is this sucker, okay? Remember, when you have a fraction and you want to flip it, you have to raise it to a negative exponent. So 1 fourth, if you think about it, is actually 4 to the negative 1. Doesn't that make sense? 4 to the negative 1 is 1 fourth. So if I made this 4, I would flip it. Now I bring up negative 1, but there's already an x, so what do I do there? I could put negative 1, right? But what about the x that was already there? It stays there. It's being times. So now I have... 4 to the negative 1 times the x that was already there. And 4 to the 2, negative x equals 2. Divide by negative 1, x equals negative 2. Done. I told you it gets weird. All right? And they are, they're they like riddles. You just have to figure out, how do I make the base match? So I did a fraction one. To undo a fraction, raise it to a negative, and it flips it. OK, what about this? This is even weirder. What if you had root 7 equals 7 to the x? Remember, I need these bases to match, and they don't. Root 7 is not the same as 7. I would venture to guess that I'm going to leave this side alone. 7 to the something. 7 to the what is root 7? If you remember this from an earlier chap, or if you're learning it fresh now, 7 to the 1 half is, 7 to the 1 half is root 7. All right? Either you knew that, or I just taught you that, but that's how you undo the root. Now, well, that's easy. The bases match 1 half equals x. All right? Uh, is that frustrating? Okay, we'll do a couple more because hopefully I'll show you the ones that you're going to have to do on a quiz and you'll just remember. I remember doing one like that. Okay, so what about this? What if you have 4 to the x equals 8? Both of these suckers need to change. You could never, 8 is not 4 to the something. There is no 4 to the something is 8. And so you're out of luck. You're like, they must have made an error when they made this problem. What if you change both bases to 2, right? 2 to the something. 2 to the what is 8? 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. What about this sucker? 2 to the 2 is 4. There was already an x up there, so he stays up there being multiplied by the new guy. So 2 to the 2x is the same as 4 to the x. Now, base is the same. 2x equals 3, divide by 2, divide by 2. It's, oops, it's 3 halves. Right? Okay, so yeah, they're annoying. Maybe I lied about the whole their fun thing. But they are riddly. They're not like typical math problems. They're like definitely like riddles. And remember, your only job in your entire life is to get these bases the same, 
right? And then whatever the exponents are, they equal each other. That's it. And that's how you solve these uh, exponential equations. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school, you can take this class online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.